According to the sheriff's office, the 26 year old woman was injured while unloading luggage from a frontier flight around 1030 last night. They say she later died at the hospital. Investigators have not said exactly how the woman was injured. Twenty-six-year-old Germani Thompson was born in Reserve, Louisiana, and had an outgoing personality, a generous spirit, and easily made friends. She was the type of person who was always smiling no matter what, and was loved by many. Germani was a hard worker and always made it a point to achieve anything she put her mind to, effortlessly. Considered a basketball guru, she always had a basketball in her hands. Whether playing for East St. John High School in La Place, where she was the team captain her senior year, Heston College in Kansas, or Tougaloo College in Mississippi, where she later graduated with a sociology degree. She had a passion for the sport and proved to be a valuable teammate and friend. When it came to basketball, she was a great shooter, played tough, and had a great attitude toward the sport. One of her former coaches recalled that she wasn't the biggest or the tallest, but whenever she went on the floor, she gave everything she had. There was no quit in her, no matter what the score was. She grew up around basketball and used to always watch her brother play. Germani had dreams of playing in the WNBA, but life, as it sometimes does, took her in a different direction. Around 10.20 p.m. on August 30th, Germani, who was a baggage handling supervisor, was working at Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport. As she unloaded baggage from an arriving Frontier Airlines flight, the unthinkable happened. We talked to people whose planes had just touched down. They were shocked when they found out about the tragedy that happened here less than 24 hours ago. That's horrible. The story is gut-wrenching. That's a horrible, horrible situation. According to Mike Hoff, Chief Executive Officer of GAT Airline Ground Support, Jamani was on the apron, an area where airplanes are maintained, loaded, and unloaded when she was in the process of unloading baggage. At some point, her hair became entangled in the machinery of the belt loader. She was severely injured and taken to Oshner Kenner Medical Center, where she was sadly pronounced dead. In the hours following the accident, Frontier Airlines canceled one flight, but the remainder of the airline's flights were operating on schedule as of Wednesday afternoon. As word began to spread, her mother and family members were flooded with calls and messages from friends and former teammates. Her family was shocked devastated and at a loss for words as they tried to process the reality of the gruesome chain of events that took place. Although they know some information, they still have many unanswered questions about the circumstances surrounding her death. She said, Mom, I'm on my way to work. I said, okay, I'll see you when you get home. But she never made it home. Germany Thompson always seemed to have a basketball in her hands. She was a basketball guru. She loved basketball. She you know, that was her thing. Word quickly began to spread Tuesday night that the 26-year-old had been killed in an industrial accident. The doctor said that her hair got stuck in a covey and, you know, and they tried to, I want to say they said they tried to cut it cut her hair, but they couldn't. She died on her way to the hospital. Thompson, who was employed through GAT airline ground support, was unloading baggage from a Frontier Airlines flight at about 10.20 p.m. Minutes later, her mother received the call. I just dropped the phone and was screaming and hollering. Mike Hugh, the CEO of GAT, says Thompson's hair apparently became entangled in the machinery of the belt loader. A co-worker of Thompson, who wanted to remain anonymous, spoke exclusively about what he witnessed. We were sitting there, we're seeing her hair on the ground, like, and we're not, like, nobody says it's on that massive run of our like, oh, well, oh, this place still has to get out we like, no, this is our, this is our friend. I can't get that image out of my head. She was just pissed on fine, bro. Like, we working with the girl every day, work long hours every day. Like, it just doesn't seem real. The timeline of the accident is still unclear, but multiple travelers at the airport questioned how it could happen in the first place. They questioned whether company safety policies go far enough. You wear a hairnet in a restaurant. Why, why aren't you doing a better job of protecting people in a workplace that potentially is so dangerous? WWL-TV obtained a copy of GATS employee handbook. On page 30, it reads, Long hairstyles should be worn with hair pulled back off the face and neck to avoid interfering with job performance. 
It is unknown whether Germani was following this policy at the time of the accident. A GAT representative insists they would never prioritize on-time performance above safety, adding that he reminded employees of that policy in a company-wide email last week. In a follow-up question, WWL-TV asked how strictly the hair policy is enforced but have yet to receive a response. Others still say more needs to be done. I can't believe there aren't better safety measures for something like that. That's just shocking. Since last night, thousands of people have arrived in New Orleans. Many have no idea a young woman took her last breaths so close by. I just feel terrible for her family and everyone involved in this situation. That's really tragic. It shouldn't happen. New Orleans Airport Director of Aviation, Kellen Deloyle, expressed condolences to Germani's relatives, friends, and her co-workers at GAT and Frontier Airlines. He says... Germani was a part of our airport family, and we will continue to support one another in any way we can during this trying time. Tougaloo College issued the following statement on her death. We are all heartbroken to learn of the sudden death of Tougaloo Eagle, Miss Germani Thompson, who tragically died on August 30th, 2022. We extend our deepest sympathies to the family, the class of 2019, friends, and the college community as we mourn the loss of a spirited, caring, and thoughtful scholar, athlete, and alumni. We extend our thoughts and prayers to the family and ask God to give them peace and strength to rely on each other during these difficult times, and more importantly, to rely on God. Proverbs 18.10 tells us, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Funeral arrangements are incomplete, and we will provide an update about Ms. Thompson's services as soon as they become available.